Everything on? Yes, everything on. Just uh, start from the left or your right and just work your way down or and just ask me if you have any questions. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of questions. <laughs> so, today we did the exact same thing as we did yesterday. So if you haven't seen yesterday's blog, you can click up here with all these technical features. And instead of doing that, exact blo same blog again, I thought that we would show you our camera gear because we've been getting about a million questions about it and how we get the quality. And the simple answer is if it was easy to get the quality, then probably everyone would. But luckily I am stupid and I tend to go overkill and buy things that are better than what we need. But that's just how I am. I can't do anything 50%. So it's always 110 and that's why we have this gear. So I'm going to start just going through it all and, and kind of show you what, I guess we, we start with this. Yes. This is, I guess, what everybody asks, what do you guys shoot on? And this is the Leica SL, uh, pretty new camera, I would say two months. Yeah, three, two or three, three, three months. Three yeah. months, yeah. So very new, very hard to get any sort of information on the web because no one has really used to that much. So um, this one, They've only released one lens with this camera so far, only the 24 to 90, and it's a really heavy, annoying camera to carry around for a vlog, but it does shoot amazing images as a lot of people have commented. So that's why we have chosen to film more and more and more on this one, because we really like it. So we use it for probably 90% of the shots and also with yeah the camera and the lens. Yeah, I mean, the only thing we don't use it for is this video because we're shooting this on a uh, Sony a7S. And then we also use GoPro for when we need that. But everything else is shot with the Leica because we compared the Leica SL and the a7S and we have the opinion that it's much, much better. And I'm sure that we'll get a lot of hate for saying that, but we like it better. So we're gonna show you a comparison outside so you can judge for yourself. 120, yeah. So we, yeah, we shoot it in two modes. Uh, usually the 25 frames per second with sound. That is the only thing bad with this camera. Leica released this masterpiece and then they have a special audio adapter for the mic. Turns out they have not released this audio adapter yet so you can't really connect the mic to this thing. It will be out in probably two to three weeks. So. By then we'll have better sound. Now we are really struggling when it's windy out because we, yeah, it's like we test with cell phones and everything and it's just like, what are you thinking? You build this camera and you don't release a Mac, Mac, mic adapter if you need one? That is stupid, but it's gonna come. So then it's gonna be much easier for us. Oh yeah, and then we shoot with the 120 uh, frames per second, the slow-mo shots. I really like the slow-mo shots because it makes it look, it makes me look more pro as a filmer than I actually am. So whenever you see a really good car shot, it's been my 120 frames per second shots because Mark has been driving because I forgot my license up here in Norway. Oh yeah, so um, autofocus on this lens, so much easier to shoot. And then I have these three lenses that I actually, I bought them for photography and we use them sometimes when we have low light. I have this uh, 35 1.4, that's a very light sensitive lens. A 50 1.1 Voigtlander uh, Leica and Leica 24 1.4. A lot of tech stuff here, but you're asked, so we try to explain. And these lenses are fantastic for photography and a bit difficult to really use for a vlog, but sometimes when we really want to get artistic, then we bring them out. You didn't turn the phone off for this. <laughs> here we are trying to show how tech we are and you can't turn off your phone for, come on, I'm trying to stay focused here. Not that tongue. <clears throat> and then we also, um, four or five days ago, bought this uh, Phantom 4 drone and I had never flown a drone before, but I figured since we travel to these cool places, it'd be stupid not to have a drone. And then as some of you might have seen, we had some issues setting it up and it was actually not us who were completely retarded. It was a firmware uh, update that was sort of malfunctioning. So it was, it was a, we were able to fix it, but it wasn't us being total idiots. So please know that everybody who hates on us for being the biggest drone idiots in the world. And we, yeah, when you see the, the shots we do and you think, oh my God, they're idiots. We are not flying over people. And the only thing that will happen if we fail is that it falls into water. So, I mean, yes, it's stupid, but I trust Marcus because he's actually good at flying. So uh, we are more responsible than you might think that we are. Except for the fact that if it falls down, it gets really wet. But then we wouldn't get the, the fjord shots and I really wanted the fjord shots. So the drone is a Phantom 4, brand new. 
Yep, the Phantom 4 just came out, and what I like about it is that it's it has more things to help an idiot like me who's not used to flying them. Um, I still, I, I always end up giving Marcus the drone uh, controller because I'm like, no, you, you take it, you get your shot. Because I'm always nervous when it's in the air, but I'm going to try to log some time and get better at it so that if Marcus is not with me for a day, I can still fly it. I'd be nervous if I was alone though. But no, it, it is a fantastic drone and once you get past that stupid firmware update, um, it's just, I had never flown a drone and you put it in the air and as long as you're smart with it, it's super safe. Glide cam. Oh yeah, this is my least favorite piece of equipment. This is what we put on the base of the Leica like this, so that it makes everything stable. It's like a stabilizer thing for the Leica. And this thing, I've had filmers in the past that had these, and they always break the inside of the car, because all these sharp edges, they rub against. This is always the last that goes into the car, so it rubs everything off, and I, I hate it. But I do like the quality it does. Uh, we are shooting some without it and some with it, depending on kind of the style that we're going for that specific day. But it does make things, it's like the lightest, easiest thing to bring when it comes to stabilizing a big camera like that. So it's a um, horrible piece of equipment, but actually gives good footage. And then we have um, a traditional GoPro arm for a lot of the interviews that I do. Selfie stick. Self selfie stick is the modern word for this. What did I call it? Arm. Arm. GoPro arm. <laughs> GoPro arm. Yeah, I'm not that tech. Uh, sometimes. Um, so we have that. We have the um, Go Hero 4 black on my helmet that I usually use on there. And then I use it. I switch back and forth between these. And then we have a suction cup car mount with a GoPro session. That's so correct. I know my tech stuff. Yeah. I'm really. I'm impressed. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, of course, the I'm trying to show it, um, the iPad for the drone so that we can see where we're flying. Um, and then <clears throat> radios. We haven't yet used them because we haven't needed to, but I'm pretty sure that once we are in a car doing stuff without these, we would have a big problem. So radio is always good when you work the way we do. And I don't know, is there anything that I missed? Do you guys have any more questions? Just put the questions down in the comments and I'll try to go through and answer everything but yeah bottom line is that uh, we have expensive camera gear and yes it is overkill but I, I really like photography and also when you make a video I want it to look really nice <clears throat> <coughs> <laughs> ah! so um, but um, yeah I hope that explained what we're using and why we're using it and uh, yeah if you have any questions just drop them and we will try to answer. I'm thinking, is there something we missed? Oh yeah, um, I actually asked Marcus, I'm like, because I, for some reason, I have to do everything 200%. So we have this incredible mega setup and I go to this uh, commercial shoot and I see the red cameras and the cases and like all these epic things. And I'm like, Marcus, could we shoot a daily vlog on a, on a red camera? That's like the big um, super, Things. and he actually turned me down on it. It's like, that would be the biggest pain in the ass ever. And so for now, we're gonna stay with this, but we always like our tech stuff, so I'm sure that we'll upgrade this more and more, and in two years, we'll travel around with a production crew of 10 to shoot a daily vlog. That's just how we like it. We like to do things overkill, and we think that the filmmaking part of a vlog is just as important as telling a story, so we're always, trying to find a mix between showing beautiful images and telling a story. And we're still trying to work out our exact formula and story, but overall we try to mix things up and create a variety so that you guys can enjoy what we do. Because we enjoy it, so we hope you do too. So now, comparisons. Um, should we go and do it now? And, uh, fun! And now it's, uh, this, uh, the light guy in turn. <laughs> Why am I sucking? Okay, I'm gonna start over. Okay, we're gonna start with sound comparison with the Leica SL and the Sony A7S. And now what you're hearing is the Leica internal mic. And now what you're hearing is the Sony external mic. So I don't know if you can hear a difference. That'll be interesting for me to see as well. And then of, of course, the image is the most important part to kind of show what we think is a big difference. So right now, we're shooting on the Leica SL, so you see how this looks. It's a 35 1.4 millimeter lens. 
and now we're switching over to the A7S and back to the Leica again and Sony and Leica we prefer to stay on the Leica because we think it's a more beautiful image and uh, it'll be really interesting actually to see how this comes out in the computer because we haven't really compared them side by side like this so let us know what you think if we think we should go Sony instead but we like I like Leica and now Marcus had to grade it and now we should also look at the grading so what we're shooting right now is the file as it comes out of the camera 100% normal and now it's graded so you see it's really quite different we grade back again and graded and I think we're gonna stay on graded because graded is always much cooler than ungraded I don't know did I explain that correctly yeah, yeah? perfect and yeah grading not that hard um, so if you know how to edit a video I'm sure you can figure out how to grade it as well so I think that would be my our biggest tip to people wondering what we do to get the look grading of course number two cameras and lenses makes a difference but no. everything works I mean there's no right or wrong so uh, just try it whatever way you like it but at least now we explain what we use so hopefully that can uh, help you guys a little bit did I get everything you did okay we did okay yes yeah, let's end this video blog now because I got to go and do some running because I'm going to Stavanger to run and the Wings for Life will run on Sunday. Sunday. Yes. And I am not a runner, so we have a problem. But I need to fix that real quickly. So we'll so see. So in tomorrow's video blog, you're going to get to see you running. Running and Mark is flying a drone while I'm running. So we're just going to fire her up, hit full gas. See how far we get. Here we got shovels. <laughs>